Aloha. My name is Dan and I have been a tour guide in Hawaii for the past five years. In March of 2020, business came to a grinding halt. I've decided to release a series of short informational videos that you can enjoy from home. Mahalo for watching. Aloha, how's it? Mahalo for joining us and mahalo for your support and your aloha. Today we're going to talk about the formation of the islands. So I'm no scientist or geologist, this is just kind of a brief overview of the formation of the Hawaiian Islands. So if you're looking for something real in depth, um, you have to look somewhere else. But don't leave quite yet, please. Stay and watch the video and then watch numerous of our other videos. And then go find a more in depth video. Um, First off, all the islands of Hawaii are volcanic islands. So there's a hot spot in the middle of the Pacific Ocean where lava is pushing up through the sea floor and it builds and builds till it eventually rises above sea level, forms an island, and then the plate at the bottom of the ocean is moving to the northwest. So the islands actually move two to three inches a year to the northwest. So that means that Kauai, which is the island furthest to the northwest, is the oldest island and Big Island or the island of Hawaii which is furthest to the southeast is the newest or youngest island and it's all also the only one with current volcanic activity on the island. Um, this beautiful photo as well as the next one was taken by Tim Dog who is our Tim Dog Tim Tim by Tim Dog who is our official photographer but anyways this is Hanauma Bay it's a popular tour stop and it's a good place to think about how the islands erode as they move to the northwest. Um, this crater at one time would have been up above sea level, but as the island shrunk and moved to the northwest, it's now been filled in with ocean water. It's also a popular snorkeling spot. So the wind and the waves batter against the volcano, but most of the erosion is actually uh, caused by fresh water in the form of waterfalls which create all these valleys and ridges. So these can mainly be seen on Kauai and Oahu because they're the older of the islands. And there's actually a new island forming southeast of the big island called Loihi, but it won't surface for thousands of years. So don't plan your next vacation there just quite yet. Um, so the Hawaiian Islands are essentially the peaks of a huge underwater mountain range that spans about 1600 miles across the, the Pacific Ocean. There's 132 islands of Hawaii, but there's only eight major islands. Out of the eight, you can really only go to six, and out of the six, people usually only go to four of them. In the order most visited, it's Oahu, Maui, Big Island, and Kauai. You can go to Molokai and Lanai, but not a lot of people do. And then Ni'ihau is privately owned, and Koho'olawe was actually bombed during World War II. Um, a quick note about Hawaii Island is uh, it's often called the Big Island and the reason for that is because it's a big island, geographically speaking. So it's not the most populated, that's Oahu, um, it's just a big island as you can see on the map here. Um, but it can be confusing because if you call it Hawaii Island, collectively everyone knows all the islands as, as the islands of Hawaii and it's also the name of the state of Hawaii. And the reason for that is Kamehameha, who was the chief who back in 1810 conquered all the islands, he was actually from Hawaii Island. So when he conquered the islands, it became known as the Kingdom of Hawaii. And so, anyways, hopefully that clears some things up. So that's kind of the brief overview of how the islands were formed. Um, it's good to remember the islands are alive and constantly changing. Um, in 2018, you may have heard news about all the eruptions on the Big Island, a lot of activity. Prior to that, lava had been flowing consistently somewhere on the Big Island since 1983, but that all changed during the eruptions of 2018. Currently there's no lava flowing anywhere on the islands, but stay tuned. The volcanic activity is not over and I'm sure Madame Pele has a lot more in store for us. Uh, one thing that is currently happening at the moment is Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater which since 1983 had been, prior to 2018, full of lava, um, is the lava's gone, but there's a green lake forming at the bottom that has scientists kind of scratching their heads, they're not sure what's going on there, but time will tell.
Okay. That's we a wrap. Are, that's a wrap? Good. Do you have the... Okay, that's a wrap, cool. Pork, right. In Hawaii we get choke food. Man. So on. Oh, we just grind them. Okay, so for today's food section, we are going to have lava cake. Admittedly, it has not much to do with Hawaii, but it's the only thing I could think of that was relative to the video, and I wanted to eat some cake. So here we go. Can you see it gushing out? Yeah. Oozing out just like lava. It's mango, it's mango filling, so that's relative to Hawaii. Oh, anyways. Mm. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I made this myself and it's okay. Nothing to brag about. Not horrible either though.